What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to place a rebar in cross-section of the beam in a longitudinal direction. Okay, so the rebar will gonna be placed perpendicular to the concrete beam cross-section. Alright, so let's do this. So it's just a continuation of our exercise from the last video. So we are going to open the section. Let's continue. So let's double click the section bubble. And then if you remember, this is the rebar that we have placed. So the next thing that we are going to do is I'm going to select again the structural frame here. And then after that, from the reinforcement panel. So let's click rebar. Click that one. And then this time on the placement, this one. So we will be using perpendicular to cover. Okay, so last time what we did is we use uh, parallel to work plane. Okay, so this time we're going to select perpendicular to cover. Okay, and then the type that we will be using here is um, this one, the zero, zero type. Okay, so let's select that one. And then after that, let's place it. So I'm going to place it somewhere here and then after that we are going to mirror that to the other side. So after you place one, so select here modify and then let's click that uh, rebar and then after that let's use here mirror draw axis. So let's click and then we are going to pick the midpoint of this rebar. So you click the first point. And then you click the second point to mirror our rebar. Okay. And then after that, while this is still selected, I'm going to hold control to click the other rebar because we are going to mirror that to the other side here. So let's select the mirror draw axis again. And then let's click the midpoint, which is this one. You click the first point and then you click another point to mirror to the other side and select your modify. Now uh, let's uh, copy another two rebar somewhere here at the middle. So let's just approximate the distance. So let's copy that. Click one and then hold control and then select the other one. And then we're going to copy. Copy, pick point and just approximate. Click and then after that, okay. And there you go. So there is now your uh, rebar that is placed in longitudinal direction. So if we are going to open the 3D view of this, let's click this uh, structural frame. And then after that, open up the section box or click the, sec the section box. And then click outside. Then just zoom into that area. Okay. Now, for us to be able to see that clearly, let us just uh, change the visual style to wireframe and see how it looks like. And there you go. Okay. By the way, you can play around your rebar here. You can click that if you want, and then you can change the rebar set. So instead of single, so maybe you can select uh, maximum spacing. So you can click that. And there you go. So there's now your set of rebars. And then you can specify here the, the distancing. So currently it's 4 inches. Okay? But that is not our exercise. Our exercise is this one. Okay? So basically that's how you place your rebar in a cross-section of a beam in longitudinal direction. Okay? So hopefully you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.